And we're in downtown Savannah in the historic district. Here we have a statue of James Oglethorpe, the one responsible for the colony of Georgia being founded as a debtor's colony and as a buffer colony. Interestingly, he, along with the other board of trustees, were anti-slavery in regard to this colony, wanting the colony to remain free. They felt that slavery would hurt the white settlers as it would cause them to become lazy and lose any type of a work ethic that they would need to have to survive in this land and to get out of debt and, and become prosperous economically. So here is a statue memorializing him, James Oglethorpe. This is the independent Presbyterian Church founded in 1755. This particular structure built in the 19th century goes up 210 feet into the sky. Beautiful architecture, neoclassical in style with Doric columns beautiful church and from what I just heard from a tour bus that drove by at the top of this tower it appears it's where the the feather begins to fall in the movie Forrest Gump so we'll have to check into that well this is pretty cool in front of my hotel is a modern recreation of a British redoubt earthwork fortification that would have been built here along the outskirts of Savannah when the British were preparing to meet an assault coming from the American forces and French allied forces, which resulted in around 800 American and French soldiers dead and wounded and only 55 British casualties. And we're going into the readout now. It's a really cool setup they have here. You can see how the ground is sunken to protect the soldiers from fire and then they could easily walk up and shoot over the wall. The stones right there represent a column of advancing American or French troops and supposedly this particular redoubt was assaulted several times and it resulted in huge casualties as I mentioned but the, the attackers would have to go across this trench and work their way up of course subjected to crossfire and fire from this position and then if they made it into the readout bloody hand-to-hand -hand combat followed it's a pretty interesting modern recreation that gives you a good feel for what a readout was like and several of these were built around Savannah and the battle occurred in the fall of 1779 and it was during this battle that Kazimir Pulaski who had come from Poland to support the Americans he died during this battle and of course there's a hometown connection there with Pulaski County in Virginia here symbolically would be a column of American troops that would have been advancing against the readout right there totally open terrain exposed to fire from the protected British troops if the column was able to continue to advance across this open terrain, also being caught in a crossfire from troops in other fortifications, this is the perspective they would have had. And they would have come up and faced this pretty significant trench, would have had to have gone down and then climbed their way up to get to the British to try to oust them from their position. And of course they were unsuccessful pretty impressive and this was even though again a modern recreation it was based on 18th century British field manuals so it should be fairly historically accurate and the actual readout archaeologists have found somewhere in this area off to my right